Welcome to Gene Therapy Classes. I am Dr. Arvind Poswal from Dr. Hayes Clinic, Delhi, India. And we will be talking about how to use the latest research. I will be helping you, how guiding you on how to use the latest research findings for your own hair and skin. So let's begin today's topic. Today we will be talking about micro needling followed by resveratrol and grape seed. Of course, we also include growth factors from PRP in this model. So a lot of people have been asking me on how it is done. So I will be including some videos of the actual process also. These videos will be in two parts. One will be on a patient who has got a few E hair transplant done just seven days ago. So patients who wish to incorporate gene therapy along with their hair transplant, they can understand this process. The other is a person who has already lost a lot of hair, to, there is diffuse hair thinning also. And such patients can also help get help from this gene therapy. So first, why is it gene therapy? See, I'm, we are not doing any gene editing, we are not adding genes, we are not removing genes. But we are changing the way the genes in the cells are working. So by FDA definition, if we change the gene expression significantly, then it qualifies to be called a gene therapy. There are objections that, okay, dieting and exercise can change gene expression. Well, so can eating strawberries. But uh, we are not talking about that minute an effect. Otherwise, people would have got all the hair they wanted just by changing their diet and uh, keeping a bit of exercise. So the effect on gene expression is significant and that is why the scientists found that there is change in the hair growth pattern from the resting phylogen to the active anagen phase. Something not doable by normal diets. So that is why I prefer to call it gene therapy and we will be including peptide injections in this, gene proteins injections in this in the coming months to years. So if you feel that it would qualify for being called a gene therapy at that time, you are my guest. I do not want to keep on delaying the actual process on account of this. Now when we are talking about gene therapy. First you have to understand microneedling. <clears throat> the principle behind this approach is that uh, we have to conserve our hair. <clears throat> we have to keep the stem cells healthy. Stem cells are located about 1 to 2 millimeters below the skin level. So how to reach there? We can reach there by microneedling. For microneedling you require a derma roller like this. The simplest thing which you can use, this is a derma roller and there are lots of needles in it and uh, all the needles are just one millimeter depth. So when you put it on the head, no matter how hard you press it, it will not go deeper than one millimeter. One thing. When you use it on the scalp, I find that on uh, the internet, I find almost everyone saying that, okay, do it like this, then like this, then like this sort of making a union jack out of it. I do not advise that. That is not advisable because it can lead to damage, it can break a lot of your hair. What we have to consciously do is create minute holes or channels in these areas so that when we put the medicine or even when we put the platelet-rich plasma, it reaches down uniformly, gradually and much more comprehensively than what any injections would be able to do. And it gives a really nice effect. So, <clears throat> if you have not done a microneedling till now, first get a derma roller. You can also use a derma pen or a derma stamp if you have it. They are less painful than a derma roller. But a derma roller is much less painful than a regular PRP injection. So this is the derma roller. And uh, keep it like your shaving razor, do not share it with anyone. Sterilize it every time before use. Use it only once a week. 
Once a week, you wet your hair thoroughly and you use the apply the derma roller on the areas where you have thinning hair. I always advise people to always use it on the temple points also because these are hair which sometimes they go away so suddenly before you even realize it. So we have to keep even those hair healthy. Now, once you have used the derma roller and you have those tiny blood spots also, you will notice tiny blood spots and see, understand the logic. When you are making those tiny holes with the derma roller or a derma pen, those tiny bleeding points indicate that platelets would be concentrating in that area. So that also brings all the growth factors into that area. Secondly, the needles themselves, they do disturb the stem cells and on a bit of stress, the stem cells are known to start multiplying faster. And third, which is most important is, like in the research that they showed, resveratrol, when we make sure that it reaches in the vicinity of the stem cells, into the dermis, that time it signals the cells in the skin and the hair follicle, the keratinocytes, to start making more telomerase, reverse transcriptase or TERT. That signals the stem cells to start multiplying. And in here, when the stem cells stop multiplying or slow down their multiplication, the hair slowly starts becoming smaller. Similarly, when we stimulate it, increase the TRT levels, then it starts increasing. The hair becomes thicker and stronger. That is what our two patients are going to tell you about also. So that is one very important thing. So when those tiny pinprick or tiny blood spots are there, that uh, indicates the place where the platelets are also integrating. Now if you have a bus cut or a totally shaved head, then of course it is the easiest thing. You can make those channels and you can spray the resveratrol serum. But if you are excessively prone to pain or very pain sensitive, then you can use this gel. This is Prilocaine gel, combination of uh, Prilocaine and Lignocaine. You can apply a thick layer of it on top of the head, wherever you have to do it. And then cover it up with an occlusive dressing or you can cover it with a plastic covering of any sort like a cling film also and keep it there like that for about one to two hours then your top part of the skin will become numb and then you can press it as much as you want so <clears throat> that is in case you are very sensitive but make sure because if you have long hair like me then putting the cream in between and just holding that on top like that is a messy affair and most people, 99.9% .9 of the people, they have no problem using this on their head without any anesthesia. So that is the next part of it. Now, let me talk a bit about the scientists and the logic behind this uh, treatment. Like if you see this uh, research, you find resveratrol when it is introduced into the skin. Or in this uh, research also, Microneedling was done and resveratrol was introduced into the skin, into the dermis. Means sprayed up after doing the microneedling. We are doing the same process. This, what it does is, it reaches the vicinity of the stem cells of the hair follicle. There it exerts its influences, whether as an antioxidant, preventing any oxidative stress to the stem cells and also in signaling them by TERT formation to, for them to start multiplying fast. Grape seed extract, that is the next research. There you see that it makes the stem cells proliferate, multiply. Now stem cells when they multiply in the hair follicle, then they will make a solid more hair. And that is what we see. When the patient does these uh, treatments, what he notices is, Better hair growth. Initially what you will find is, if he pulls his hair, there should be no hair in his hand. That is called the hair pull test. Initially he may notice, he or she, that you have a lot of hair coming in your hand. 
So that has to stop. Once that stops, then you will notice some thickening of the hair follicles, some very fine hair growth also. And I have had numerous patients who have come up with this. We had only expected that resveratrol and grapeseed will at least stop further hair loss, but we are very happy to say, I am very happy to say, that it uh, has in many patients led to better regrowth of the hair. But we still need to study this more. I am not promising anything to any of the patients. And uh, just do go through the research findings. Now we come to the next part. A lot of patients ask me how to apply resveratrol and grapeseed extract to the scalp. So one of the things is you can take the serum which we make for our patients. There is a range of serums which I use for my patients. Ranging from 0.5% weight by volume of resveratrol and grapeseed extract to up to 5%. That depends often on the type of uh, hair loss the patient has, their age, their skin type, their hair type, all of those things. And whether there is any active inflammation in the hair. So initially, <coughs> I would advise you to start with the bare minimum, that is 0.5% resveratrol and 0.5% grapeseed. <coughs> weight by volume and uh, if you want to prepare it honestly you could try it there are a whole lot of solvents available you can use them you can try to mix it but uh, why do I personally not advise this it is because everyone is not really uh, that expert at making uh, serums of their own that is why you people buy everyone buys hair serums no this one we are formulating it, there are a host of things which go into it. The ingredients are written on the bottle. If you want to try it out, be my guest, make it. And uh, what we personally do, what I ensure is that uh, we take resveratrol, the pure trans resveratrol, it's white in color. And uh, we use only that one, similarly for grapeseed extract, we use the most Pure, pure and natural form and we take them directly from the manufacturers and they are uh, along with the certificate of analysis etc everything so that's why I do not uh, ask a manufacturing company to make it for me because if I ask a manufacturing company to make it for me so that I can give it to my patients then I would be restricted by how much percentage to use in different patients. Similarly, if I have to add something to a, for a particular patient, I cannot do that. So that is the reason I compound or formulate these uh, serums for my patients. You can call these gene therapy serums or you can call these anti-aging serums, whatever you call. What you want to look is that your hair and uh, your scalp becomes young again. So now we'll see short videos of two patients so that you can see how it is done. And if you have any questions anytime, do uh, get in touch with me. If you want to find out how to do it for yourself, see, for patients who visit me, I tell them that the first session should be by me so that I can teach them the correct way. Also, we call them initially at least every one month for about six months the weekly sessions are carried out by the patients at their end if for some reason you are living very far away from me and you cannot come then you can get it done continue the in-home treatments yourself but do stay in touch and let me know how you are doing it and if there is any confusion in any step do let me know the in-clinic sessions have some additions when we are giving all these things, we give them growth factors also, the one which you hear in PRP. Those growth factors also percolate through the channels or holes made by the derma roller. We do not need an injection for them. When you are uh, seeing a doctor giving injection for PRP, you also realize that the control is not that precise. We cannot give the injection just one millimeter below the skin level you notice the needle going a lot more deeper 
whereas the action takes between 1 to 2 millimeters inside the skin. So that is one aspect. The other, of course, we use NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide. Sometimes in some patients who have very severe hair fall. So that NMN I cannot give you in a serum form because it uh, degrades very fast. So we have to make it in C2. Means at that time only we have to make it and then we have to use it. If you want NMN, pure NMN on pure resveratrol to try these at your home also you can try them. In coming classes I will be telling you how to use the different uh, supplements like calcium, AKG, fisetin, NMN for your hair, for your scalp and in coming days for your skin also. After that we will also be talking about the peptides, the gene proteins which can be injected. Right now I am not injecting them. But we have got some very, very positive reviews and I hope that the day will come when uh, almost everyone can be sure that they can retain their hair for a lifetime.